are the signs of a friend that's jealous of you? Um, they are silent when things are good for you. Mm. When things are going good, they're a bit yeah. more silent. And uh, when things are going bad, uh, they're, they're present. But when things, it's not so much about who's there for you when things are bad. Because sometimes people just like to hear gossip and like to know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's when things are going good for you, they're silent. Or the, yeah, the energy shifts and stuff like that. So I would say how they respond when things are going good in your life. And you can't fake that. So like, you know, if you tell a girl that you're pregnant and she goes a bit quiet or you're getting married, she goes a bit quiet. Uh, you can't fake those responses. Yeah. So whereas you can fake it. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're going, going through a divorce. You can fake that. But you can't fake your visceral reaction when things are going good for people. And when people are saying good things about you, how does that person respond? Do they join in with the good comments or do they go quiet? I had a friend like that once. Yeah. Um, and I learned. Do you think it's more in Asian girls? She was actually English. Oh, really? Yeah, I've so not really I experienced it much with English girls. Mainly I had a, an yeah. English friend. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, I had a friend and um, I said some good news to her. And um, one thing I learned about was facial reactions. Yeah. And her reaction was so forced. It's the good news. Uh, and, and, and I was just like, oh, wow, like you actually don't want me to do better than you or. Well, the thing is, there is no better. It's just different. Yeah. Like as in yeah. as in not better than her, but just uh, she didn't want me to give her the news that I gave her because it was such big news. Aww. And the reaction was just so forced. And, and in my head, like even after that, she just went quiet. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the quiet. It's the And she's always there for bad news. Bad news. And I said that, like, that's my number one advice is how do people respond when good things are happening for you? And uh, it's not limited to friends. It could be family as well. And it's yeah. not limited to women. It could be men as well. I, I had men when I started my Instagram and I had some male friends who were just genuinely jealous. And I'm like, why are you of jealous? What? I don't know, of the notoriety or something like that. Not that there's any notoriety, it's just followers, it's not that deep. But I remember like a, a, a male friend of mine getting a bit bitchy with me and being like, oh, you know, you're always out for dinners in Dubai and you're always doing this, who, what, what this, and just that jealousy. And I, said, I don't think it's gendered, but it's usually more amongst the same gender. And men get jealous of other men as well. They just express it differently. Oh, men men are quite bad. Yeah, I've they're seen, really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Women, we're just more uh, known for it and yeah. obvious about yeah. it. But men will joke about their jealousy. They'll be like, even in, when I was a teacher, I used to observe this a lot in students with uh, men with jealous boys, when they compete with each other, they'd be like, ah, oh, you're so dumb, you got a D, I got a C. Da -da. They're in competition with each other, but they make a joke out of it. Whereas women, they're in silent competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Women, women, I feel like women's jealousy can, can be become quite toxic i feel like there's a there's a movement now but i do think it's both way around sometimes i find myself as well being a little bit like uh, i don't want to tell her this good news and uh, and maybe my being cautious is what's creating the maybe it's me maybe it's something i'm doing maybe it's so i do think that i need to we need to analyze maybe it's a dynamic thing but i have been quite unlucky with women throughout my life same yeah, same. I've been really unlucky, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, uh, but God blesses you in different ways. So I've been really lucky with m males and male friends and stuff like that. I've been really, really lucky. Uh, but women, I now would put nothing past them yeah, yeah, see, in my life. Yeah, I'd put I, nothing past it. I've had a lot of female friends. And to be honest, out of all my friends, I'm the most driven one. Yeah. So I've always been quite motivated from a young mm -hmm. age because I come from a family of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was always to strive and be better and do more. Mm -hmm. um, so I was always the one that was working longer than all my friends, doing more than mm -hmm. all my friends, and essentially at having three jobs at the same time. Wow. Yeah, like I've always but been see, like I that. I've had the opposite problem where I've always been, I have no work ethic, by the way, guys, zero. I'm incredibly relaxed when it comes to work. I could take it or leave it. But success or kind of like anything, whatever you call it, just used to follow me. So even when I was a teacher, I would get really high results out of the kids. Or when I, and I'm not a hardworking person at all. Even like with the social media stuff, um, I just post it. I, doesn't, I don't care about it. I really didn't care about it at all. I just used to post it. I didn't think anything of it. I never invested in marketing. I never, even graphic design, my page is so embarrassing. It's like GCSE artwork. You know, like, <laughs> and I don't care. To, and everyone's like, you could be this, you should be doing that. And I'm like, I don't care about this stuff. Like I could care less. But it's 
happens to follow me, the kind of uh, uh, reaction followed me. And I think that used to lead to a lot of jealousy because it would come a bit more effortlessly for me, a lot of things, like even, even with how maybe people would treat me nicely or whatever it is. And I felt like sometimes people get jealous of the reaction you receive from others, not even just you, just the fact that it's so easy for you to make friends or it's so easy for yeah, you to yeah, jump yeah. the queue or it's so easy for you to like get on a podcast or with this person or that person so quickly and easily. Praise be to God. This is all praise be to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I would always have the opposite problem because it looked like I was doing everything effortlessly. But I d it, it would come. I don't have a work ethic. I have a, an e I had an ethic to be educated, never to work ever. So it well, just came as a result.